Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 After the End. In the last episode, we fought a couple more wars. Uh, one up here to take a little bit of territory over here. And actually, our one of our vassals fought a war to take Nevada. So Nevada is now ours. And so we only have a little bit left to get here before we'll be done. So that is nice. We're currently in a war, a uh, host war. Typical. And uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll wait and see if the army decides to show up and try to siege anything, and then we'll smash it. So let's just go ahead and unpause this thing and get it moving. Uh, young Carls seems to be quick to praise the deeds of others around him while neglecting his own physical activity and development. Loses Idolizer, gains Frail. Or can we try to get him to become kind? Nope. Got frail. For a hundred years under the New American Empire, the territory of Washington is now part of it. Does your empires. Alright, so up here. It's now part of the De Jour Empire. There's Benjamin's host. I mean, whatever. Um what was that? that was Michigan, right? Yeah, I guess we'll give that to Detroit. Grant Vice Royalty of Michigan. And we need a new council position for our Chancellor. Which you can be... I guess you can't be Chancellor. Can you be Chancellor? There we go. Do we need to improve anybody's relations here? Anybody in a faction? I guess we'll go with you. The Viceroy of Ohio. Time tonight is a little bit limited for recording, so I might have to uh, cut the episode a, the episode a little shorter than normal. All right, all right, we've got some armies have shown up. That guy, that guy. Right, let's see. Uh, let's raise up army there. Raise up an army here. Really? That'll do. Okay. And that's Oxnard, Newberry, Sheboygan. Okay. What I'll probably end up doing is taking you, marching you in there, and then marching you in there, and then just crushing this guy. Victory, 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 victory. My liege, I write to you with bad news from Baltimore. My efforts to root out heresy and convert the population has met with resistance. The peasants are arming themselves. Oh. Uh, enforced demands. Yep, that's over. Stick them in a hole. You guys disband for now. And you guys disband as well. Oh, Lakota is back. Bismarck makes sense. Transfer those neighboring counts. Take it. 
All right, we're no longer threatening, so we can run a couple of more wars, or another war. And what I was thinking of doing was running a couple of more wars. Uh, let's see. What I'll do is march some troops in. Uh, let's see. Here for my guys to get into position. What I'm actually going to do is launch two wars. Uh, what's this? My daughter and some random dude. Nope. My daughter needs an education. Let's see. She's an idolizer, affectionate, and conscientious. Uh, affectionate. Yeah, we'll go with diplomacy. Oh, looks like I'm pregnant again. My daughter, Prince of Aurora. Actually, we'll accept that one. And nope, we're not giving titles. And we'll probably wait till it's not winter anymore. Probably start of April. There we go. Then we're gonna do is we're gonna declare war on you. I guess gonna go for a du jour claim. Governor of the Valley. Yeah, we'll go with the du jour claim war on Douglas. We'll send that. Like how this is Douglas Adams. Uh and if you don't know who Douglas Adams is, um, go find out who Douglas Adams is. Um, declare war. Holy war for Baja. For Central Valley. No, high desert. Can I just like a straight up conquest for this? This is a single county, right? Or do a du jour claim for the Vice of Cascadia. Yeah, we'll do the jour claim here as well. Clear that war. And we will march troops in. Deal with this pretty simply. Just the other day, skulking as I often do, apparently. I caught Vicerin and Nanus of Dixieland in my courtier, George in Flagrante. They didn't notice me, but I am still in shock. She was a married woman by Omnissiah. She is one of my viceroys. We have pretty decent opinions, so we'll forgive and forget. Uh, mission to Dayton was a success. Good. Oligarch Regina the Fat has defaulted on her debt. I'm not worried about that. Did somebody else join this war? Or did they just hire a whole bunch of mercenaries? Army of Brad. I think that's probably mercenaries. Uh, let's move these guys in to provide support if needed. Right, we got a new daughter who is quick. Ooh, very nice. Hopefully we don't have any more kids. Which is harder to control as a female ruler than it is as a male ruler. Alright. Consumerist Uprising. Siege of Newport. Benjamin's Host. I guess what we'll do is we'll bring up this army. Bring up a few armies there. We'll deal with that. Siege of Sunny Slope. Now I'll probably actually want to put some commanders into this army.
Actually, can we go to this way? Because I don't think there's a river crossing there. Uh, apparently it's some random courtier. Don't worry about that. Risky loans paid off. Alright, we won that battle. And then we need to take a look at these sieges again. We should be able to converge on them. And we should be able to crush this. Alright, so that's over. Yet. Young girl seems to be a real explorer. A spearmen are constantly finding new ideas and topics to fascinate him. Gets shrewd. Ooh, I'll take shrewd. Alright, you guys can actually go home. Uh, did... Oh, those guys must have moved, yep. Yeah. Uh, my son. We'll get stressed to give him diligent. Stress is a piece of cake to deal with. Alright, there goes that army. Done. Now I just got a two offensive wars to win. And here comes another adventure threat. Inherited tycoon ship of Grand Francisco. Okay. So we'll do the same. Is he... Grant Vice Royalty, Grand Francisco. You're gonna siege there? I'll bring the large army in. Four thousand troops shouldn't be a problem. Oh, that war is over. Offer peace, enforce demands. Done. Because that was a du jour war, we don't need to worry about managing that territory now. Let's just go straight to who it should go to. And we're gonna need to start moving these armies south, so... Uh, let's just bring everybody down to San Francisco. For the time being. Year for banking profits, good. Um, just to salt that down. Good. Just to salt that down. There we are, 81%. 83%. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff down here. Rixo, Appalachia. Bring up a couple of armies to deal with this. Court chaplain, we need a new court physician. Guess we'll go with you. And I need a new court chaplain, which will be you, and then you're gonna have to go proselytize somewhere. 
I guess we'll send you back to Baltimore. See, my daughter could use some experience. Uh, nope, nothing there that I'm all that worried about giving them. Alright, march army in there, march the army in there. My daughter needs a focus, she's an idolizer, she's conscientious, and she's timid. Which makes her very good with learning education, so that's where we'll go. And now I got people who want to wed her. Prince of the Valley. No, we'll accept that. My son finishes education. And he became a charismatic negotiator. Very good. So this is the current heir. Uh, let's split this army. And actually, we might as well split this army. Oh, 69%? What happened? I could have sworn that was over 80% before. Your husband, Engineer Anthony, has sent you a gift. It is a small puppy of the finest pedig pedigree, destined to grow into a great hunting dog. I will accept this gracious gift. And we'll name him Tricky. I don't think I've ever named one of my dogs Tricky yet. Mission of Day 10 was a success. Good. Oh, actually, these are not large enough to siege, so I need to bring those guys back together. Merge. Oh, lost stressed. Uh, could I send an army there? That'll do. One of the uh, host armies has shown up. Alright. Your dog is growing up quickly. He's no longer a little puppy. He runs fast, has a keen nose, and your dog handler's praise is good character. Good dog. I got a couple of sieges that are about to finish. See what it looks like. The 83%. Siege of Campbell River. Quinn's host is up there? Uh, can that hold? Yeah, I can actually. Good thing that's part of the valley and they have a large army. Alright, siege complete. Siege complete. War over. Let's get the armies out. Enemy territory. Wins host. Um, can you go take care of that? Right, 
Perfect. Now you guys converge. Smash that army. My daughter, Ellen, has physical education. She only became an underhanded rogue, okay. Young Ellen's full of energy and willing to get things done. She's gonna become diligent. Perfect. Diligent is an excellent trait. Prince of Aurora and my daughter. Yeah, that's right, that was a betrothal that we already agreed to. Diplomatic mission successful. No war profits. Oh well. And then we'll crush this piece of his army. No problem. Let's see, what's our threat at? 11%? That's it? Oh, because those were just Zor Wars, right. Let's move you down to Marin, and we'll start bringing these guys down south. Because all the territory we now need to take for the rest of what we want is down here in the south. So we want to get our troops down here. Uh, Tycoonship of Deseret. Which we give that to Yellowstone, but for some reason always separates from Yellowstone for some weird reason. You're involved in an ongoing war? Oh, you... What is this? Deseret Revolt. Well, that's irritating. Nothing we can't handle, though. in there. Take care of that. Come on, win the battle, win the battle. Ooh, that was closer than I would have liked. Should have put some commanders in there. Famous writer proposes to compose your family's chronicles. Uh, do we go with Proud? Yeah, we'll give him patronage. Alright, this is going to be close. We want to make sure we have commanders in here. Let's launch the attack. What's actually giving them war score? Lost control. Oh, Bear River. Bear River. Is that down here? Yep. They got a large army coming in. Let's bring up the Lakota army and get it in here. Let's let that siege back naturally. My courtier? No, we're not doing anything with it. We're just a random courtier. Let's see, what can this hold? 19,000? Long Anthony seems to have a lot of independent opinions and refuses to listen to the priests.
nope, didn't get patient, but it doesn't really matter, he's just a random kid. Nope, not giving out land. What I just need to do... ...is we need to... ...get this to a point where we can white piece. That, that's... I don't really care about going all the way to 100%. No, let's try and get rid of those rivals. My daughter, yep, we'll give her diligence. There is Sonora. Which I think... No, 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 no. We do Sonora here. Right? I think so. Alright. But, I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to end the episode here. Oh my god. These guys' armies over there. We'll finish this mess up. And then we will see what we're going to do next. It looks like we got rid of all of our threat, so we can launch a couple more wars down here. And... Yeah, we are almost done. And what happened over here? What is this? What is this? Not sure how you became independent. Revassalize. Just a second. And that gives me 50% threat. By diplomatically vassalizing someone? And putting you back under your king? Okay, that, that's weird. Oh well. Whatever. We'll be fighting Cascadia anyway. I think next. So, yep, we'll end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.